Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and today again we're looking at the Model 5030i Sharp Particulate Monitor. And just quickly I wanted to go over the calibration foil insertion into the detector head. So if we come around to the side of the unit, what we have here are the calibration foils. This is a calibration foil kit. So they give you three foils, one, two, three. The first one I, I'm going to show you is the zero null foil. So there's a, this little circle actually has a foil in it. You can see a bit of a shine to it. And this one is labeled zero null. So if you put this into the detector, it will read, it should read zero on the front panel of the instrument, zero micrograms. The next one is, again, it has a bit of a foil in, in this little circle. And it is labeled 1,225 micrograms. So that's the number that should come up if the instrument is calibrated properly, or if you need to adjust to it, that's the number you should see on the front screen. The third one is, again, a foil in this little circle. And it has 2,522 micrograms labeled on it. So that's the number that you would calibrate this foil to. So these are the three foils that come in this kit and it comes with this little bracket and on this bracket it says up so this means it needs to be positioned up up in the uh, detector and then we take one of the foils simply slide it in under the tabs right there and just touch the front of the bracket so under these tabs and that will be inserted into the detector and when i say detector i'll show you that over here we're going to insert it underneath, in between this detector right here. But before we can do that, we need to open the sensor head, just like I did in a previous video. The detector head needs to be lifted with raised. And what happens there, I'll press enter on the front of this analyzer. The motor will turn and it will move the shaft. And what it's doing, is it's ever so slightly raising this detector head. It's very difficult to see it because it's such a small movement on this assembly. Once that is raised, what we'll do next is we can tear this tape. We have to remove the tape from the, uh, from the detector. So these tear very easily. Just simply rip it. And since this has been raised, we can slide the tape out of the detector head. I'll just pull it from the right and feed it out. Like that. And you can just set it aside once you get it out. Just lay it aside. Once that is out, we can take our foil that we've inserted into the plate. Now we're going to insert it into the head assembly. And we're going to go in onto the right side and just gently ease it in to the assembly and it will stop you can see it peeking through right here there's the front of it and that will actually stop and just make sure the plate is all the way up and just touching the front okay. after that is done you can close this head from the front screen and then begin the calibration, the detector calibration. Just to give you kind of a bird's eye view of what that looks like, this is not something you would normally do. I've taken the screws out of the detector just to lift it up and show you what this looks like underneath. Normally you wouldn't be going in here, but you can go down, you can see down in. I'll just focus down a little bit more. And what you'll see is when I slide this detector, uh, calibration foil back and forth. You can see it right there. There it is there. There's that little circle I was talking about. See the beginning and end of it? So that needs to be centered over the, under the beta detector. And that's why they give you this bracket to guide you in. So that's what you're doing when you're sliding that bracket in from the right. You're just putting that foil in the dead center underneath that detector. So when the beta, beta rays from the detector 
are going through the foil, it gives you either that zero reading or it will give you the other two readings. One was 1,225 micrograms and the other one was 2,522 micrograms. And that's all that's, that's all that's happening with the foil calibration. We're just simply inserting it in between the detector head underneath the beta detector. So when the calibration is completed, you'll just simply lift the head again. You'll have to activate the head and raise it again. And then you'll remove the foil, foil calibration bracket. And bring it out. That, and there it is there. There's the foil. And you can just simply slide this out and put the next one in. So that's just a quick review on how the foil calibration kit goes inside the, uh, the detector head. So you've got, again, three foils, a 0, a 1225, and a 2522, with the guiding bracket for you to put it into the head of the detector. That's uh, 5030i. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.